What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to debadge your car. I'm going to be demonstrating on my Chevy Cruze, which is back there. So I'm going to run over everything you guys are going to need for this project, and I'm also going to get started on it, so I'll show you guys how to get it done. Super easy, let's get started, and yeah, cut to the next scene. This is everything I'm going to be using to get this project done. I have some goof off heavy duty remover, just removes sticky stuff like, you know, stickers, which is what's holding on your emblems. Underneath that I have some fishing wire, you can't really tell. You can use fishing wire, I recommend the plastic style because it works better, it doesn't break. You can also use dental floss which will probably break pretty easy, but if you don't have any of this, that's probably the second best bet. So, yep, you're gonna need some fishing wire or something comparable. I'm also gonna be wearing some gloves so this stuff doesn't hurt as bad on your fingers because you're gonna have to be like cutting with it, kind of. This is kind of optional. My car's been sitting in the sun for the past couple hours. It's about 85 degrees out today, so I probably won't need this. But if it's a little bit colder where you live, you might wanna get one of these or at least a hair dryer so you can get the adhesive to remove easier. So that's everything you're gonna need. Let's get started and I'll show you guys how easy this is to do. So here's my car. It has been sitting in the sun, so it's pretty warm. These are the letters I'm gonna be removing from my car, the part that says cruise. So basically the easiest way to do this is to get all of your tools around you so you have them ready. You guys can't really tell, but I have the fishing line right here. Since this is already hot from the sun, it's gonna be super easy to remove. The adhesive will already be like somewhat more loose as you're trying to get this off. But I'm gonna take the fishing wire and kind of wrap it around my fingers on both sides. That way I have a good grip on the fishing wire and it's not gonna be slipping as I'm trying to get these letters off. So the easiest way to do this is to come down and get your fishing wire into start of the letter. I don't really, really have to explain it, but you kind of just wanna like get it on the back side. And then as you, uh, you just kind of put some pressure downward and kind of do a sawing motion and your letter should come off super easy. As you can see, there's the E. The E just fell off, let me go grab it real quick. So here's the E, that's how easy it was. Now the only thing left on there is adhesive. We're gonna get that off in a minute. I'm gonna get the rest of these letters off. That's literally how simple it is. There's no adhesive on the back of this. It's all still in the car, but it'll be super easy to get off. Let me do these other letters and I'll get back with you, show you how to get this adhe adhesive off really easy. So there we go, super easy. Got the C, got the R, got the U, and the Z off. So there's all the letters off. Now the only thing left on here is adhesive and the easiest way I find to do this is to kind of just get at it with your fingers a little bit because it'll come off in big chunks so it's pretty easy to get off. Especially if you're wearing gloves like I am, these gloves are really texturized so they have a lot of grip. It's easy to kind of just rub your finger up against it and get it off but it works without gloves as well, it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to work at these letters a little bit and I'll get back to you guys when I'm done getting most of the adhesive off and we'll hit it with the goo on. So now that I have most of the adhesive off, I'm gonna back my car up before I do anything else. I don't wanna put any liquid on this while it's in the hot sun. So I'm gonna back it up into the shade, and I'm also gonna cool this area down with some water before I do anything else. I don't want the goo gone drying on my paint and then messing it up. So I'm gonna back my car up, and we'll get this area cooled off. I recommend you do this as well. That way you're not having any chemicals dry on your paint or and mess it up, etch it, or anything like that. Also, if you're using a heat gun, make sure you're not putting like too much heat onto this because it can and will crack your paint if you put too much heat on it. And if you're using a heat gun as well, make sure that you cool the area off or let it cool off before you put any chemicals on it. All right, so I just got some wet paper towel. I'm just gonna cool this area off before I put any chemicals on it. So I'm just gonna wipe over it. This isn't gonna do like a lot, but it's gonna make it, you know, not as hot as it was in the sun. So that's an easy way to cool it off real quick. Now another thing I wanna mention is the chemicals that you use, make sure that they are safe on your paint. There are companies that make adhesive remover that is specifically for cars, like Turtle Wax, I think. They make, they have their own adhesive remover. So just make sure that this stuff isn't gonna damage your paint. I don't wanna be liable for that. And uh, yeah, I don't want you guys to be pissed off that your paint is ruined. So make sure that your chemicals aren't gonna hurt your paint or anything. All right, so I'm just gonna spray down a little bit of this goof off onto my 
adhesive and I'm going to start scrubbing at it with the paper towel. I've been scrubbing at this for about, I don't know, two or three minutes now and I just got all of the sea off. So yeah, just a little bit of elbow grease and some time. You should have everything off in, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Just keep scrubbing at it. Put more of your adhesive remover on and it'll work really well. So I'm going to keep going at this, get the rest of this off. And I'm also going to show you guys how to protect your paint afterwards, after you take all of your letters off. So while I'm at it, I wanted to test and see if a microfiber towel would work better to get this stuff off. So I'm going to start hitting it with this and see if it grabs the adhesive better and gets it off easier. So there we go, I got all of the adhesive completely removed. It looks really, really nice and I'm super happy with the result. I'm going to hit it one more time with this goof off, make sure I got everything off and yeah. This microfiber towel definitely works out better than the paper towels because it doesn't really fall apart as you're scrubbing with it. So you can scrub harder with it and it just comes off way easier. So I definitely recommend using a microfiber towel to remove your adhesive. I'm just going to hit this one more time and I'm going to show you guys how to protect your paint from future damage after you take your emblems off. The easiest way to protect your paint is to put down a quick layer of wax. This is super simple so I'm going to show you guys how to do it real quick and uh, show you how easy it is. So the only thing you're gonna need for this is a, is a microfiber towel and another microfiber towel. So two total microfiber towels and this is the easiest thing you can do to protect your paint. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my applicator towel. You can also use applicator pads. I don't have any on me at the moment, but that's another easy option. But you can also do it with these towels. So I'm just gonna fold this up a little bit. I'm gonna take my wax. This is just Meguiar's cleaner wax. It's super easy to put on your car. And yeah, let me show you how real quick. So I'm just going to pop the top open. You only need a little bit on your, on your microfiber. So about that much. That'll be enough to cover this whole area and we'll probably have extra actually. So, so you're just going to take your applicator or your microfiber towel. You just want to dab this kind of all over the car or the area you're trying to apply to. Put some up here as well. Now all you're going to do is just do circles over the whole area. Get this, all of this wax spread out and make sure you're getting all the surfaces that you want. So I'm going to start with circles over the whole area, then I'm going to go across straight lines, and I'm going to go up and down. And that's just going to make sure that we get the whole area covered. That's how simple it is. Now I'm just going to let this sit for about two or three minutes, let it dry. That's where your other microfiber towel comes in. You take this, wipe it off once it's dry, and your paint is protected for the next you know, three to six months. So now that my wax is dry, I'm just going to wipe it off. The easiest way to tell if this stuff is dry or not is just take your finger and draw a line. You should be able to see some residue, some, it'll be white if you're using white wax. And uh, that's the easiest way to tell that it's dry. So now all you have to do is buff this off. I'm just going to take my microfiber and shine this area up pretty good. You can also do circles to take it off, but you just want to make sure you get all the product off of the car and make sure it looks really good. So there we go, there's the final product. I'll zoom out a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more. It looks really nice and I'm um, super happy with the result. That's how you debadge your car, super easy. I'm also gonna take my car to the car wash. You can also wash your car after this is done. Just make sure you get all the product off of this area. You don't want the chemical to damage any of your paint or anything. So debadging your car is that simple. Just follow all those steps and you should be good. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a big like down below. It really helps supporting the channel. Also, subscribe for more videos like this one. And uh, comment what you thought about this video. I really appreciate the comments. I read every single one of them. And I will reply to your comment if it's nice. Some of the comments aren't very nice, but, you know, that's okay. You just got to deal with that on the internet. Anyways, I'm rambling. Either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope it was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.